Okay, we're in Hyattsville Metro Station. Well, well, it's a new episode of New Destination. Uh, last night we really enjoyed New Edition. They oh, rocked the house. Oh, did you go? To, you went to the concert too? Oh, I'm just kidding. My son is in. The, he's a music producer. That's ah, okay. They were great. Oh. Tell them New Edition was great. All right. All right. We'll see you down there, <laughs> bye, bye. Um, nice neighbor. Um, and anyway, uh, what we were saying was New Edition was great. Yeah. Uh, so we're in Hyattsville, Maryland now. And uh, first we're gonna go out to see the Capitol, the mall area, DC. Then we're gonna go to Georgetown to see the infamous Exorcist stairs where the film, The Exorcist from 1973 was shot. Then later on, we're gonna come back here in Mount Rainier where the original house was, where the, what was said was an African boy was possessed by the devil in Mount Rainier, Maryland. You want to do this? Yes. It's going to be a scary episode, folks. Stay with us. Got your card. Let's go do Metro. Let's get on it. Here come the train. Yeah, have you never seen a train before here? It's an interesting model, isn't it? Extremely. These are iconic though, I like these. New York ones too, but these always stay the same and I like that. Smithsonian, we made it. This is the mall. Look behind you. 
the icon. The icon, the Washington Monument. So what you have around you here in the Smithsonian area is everything. <laughs> Straight ahead, let's walk over this way real quick. Just give you a quickie dicky dicky tour while you're down here. city DC and when I lived here I didn't appreciate it all but you know being gone from my home for 12 years I've learned to appreciate exactly what I have here so we stopped by pot belly you like it I used to eat at Pot Bellies all the time. It's like my lunch spot when I used to work over in DuPont Circle, which you'll visit soon. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, next stop, we're gonna go to Georgetown. We're gonna do something really interesting in this episode. We're gonna look at my most favorite horror movie where it was filmed, The Exorcist. Stay tuned. Ooh. I think it's, um, uh, it's none of these downstairs. Foggy Bar. All right, 
Let's hit the G Town now. Yeah. One of the interesting things about DC is it's famous for all of its circles. Uh, and famous ones are Logan Circle and DuPont Circle. But there's so many, and trying to get a grasp of the names is difficult. Okay, we're gonna try to get a bus. Any bus going up. <laughs> M Street is good. It was so funny. <laughs> You're such a great actor. <laughs> you can see that this scene has been redone. <laughs> anyway. We caught a bus going on M Street. Oh, that's how you stop a bus? Yeah, just pull the hook down. <laughs> no, no, no. You'll see the little... It's just like yours. with will stop people coming through. Georgetown is... Famously known where the rich people live. So you'll see that soon. You see the homes here. They're really exclusive and beautiful. Lots of shishi foo foo shops. I'll let you know. Because I want to pull it. Pull it. Now? Uh. Wait. Doors open. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Famous Key Bridge. I used to work right over the bridge, Washington Business Journal, Roslyn. A little further is Courthouse. All right, yeah. let's go. Let's do this. Look at this gorgeous, quiet, beautiful neighborhood. Always gives me warm fuzzies when I'm here, uh, hanging out or doing whatever, walking around. It's gorgeous, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, beautiful street. Okay, we're approaching the steps for the exorcist, and the fun is walking all the way up. <laughs> oh, great. And not feeling like you're gonna fall down and break your neck. Okay, good God. Oh, I love the movie. I don't know if I like walking up the stairs though. No. <laughs> Great movie, but that's quite a workout. And while, while we were there, we noticed runners running up and down the stairs. And God, now maybe, I'm, maybe if I lived here, you know, I could do it. All right, that is so iconic when you see that street name. 36 and Prospect Street because you know right away you've arrived at like basically what is considered a film set for the exorcist. The stairs are there and then this would have been the house in the film but they fool the camera and the house is actually right here on your right side. Let's go check it out. The home and the movie that changed my life. The greatest horror movie of all time, The Exorcist. There'll never be another. And I don't care how many damn movies come out claiming to be scary, there's nothing like the 1973 William Freakin film starring Linda Blair. And there's been some, some change to it. As you can see in the, in the original film, this had another section that's been moved apparently. Not sure why, because it is a piece of history, but it's somebody's house, so <laughs> they can do what the hell they want with it, right? Yeah. And the famous scene, I'm gonna pan out and show you what the famous scene like, as Jackie's, oh, I'm gonna get hit by a car before I do that. I don't wanna die young. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm gonna pan out 
and show you that famous scene where the priest pulls up to the house and he's got his suitcase in hand. It looks something like that right there. I'm getting scared just thinking about it. Let's get the hell out of here. Like we're just not timing those bus stops right are we <laughs> no, <it's> yeah <laughs> well hey it's a nice nice weather again today absolutely all right next stop the, the original stop. house oh. <laughs> where the exorcist actually happened okay so as i'm understanding from you the boy who was possessed was not on the spot where we have been but that's for the film version the film. yeah so that's not to get confused out there audience the film was shot on the stairs that we saw. Now we're actually going to girl. where the original story that the, that the movie was influenced by was an article that was written in the Washington Post. Can't remember the year right now. I want to say it was the 60s, definitely. Uh, and it was a little African boy. Uh, from Mount Rainier, Maryland, where we're about to go. You're going to see the original house, still intact, where that happened and it inspired the story. Uh, where Hollywood, of course, got a little blonde girl to play the part, and the rest is history. All right? I know why Every time you come near, just like me, I long to be close to of where we need to go. The area is Mount Rainier. You scared? No. Okay. Do it. I'm a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit afraid. So, you know, because I've seen the film. We saw it when we were young. Yeah. You don't know, remember much about it. Yeah. But you know, it's sad to be a true story. So it happened here. So we're gonna go there. It's a six-minute drive. We'll go up to the house and we'll take a few shots. Yeah. Maybe go inside, talk to the couple who now owns it, and see what happens, okay? Yeah, we'll see what happens. Alright, let's go. Okay, we're heading to Mount Rainier. Yeah, we have to hurry because it's getting dark. Yeah, it's getting dark and that's scaring me a little bit. Never seen this home before. I heard stories, the myth, the legend, but I've never actually been there. This is a weird feeling right now. Oh my God, it's so weird. Things here. He's choppy road. It's like kind of on the DC line. Like this DC is like right over this hill. Which is why they call this Bunker Hill. Ugh. Bunker Hill Road. Where the house is located. So, gotta go straight on. Are you feeling kind of an ominous presence right now? 
like an ominous feeling, like possession or something. <laughs> Yeah. My heart's beating faster right now. It's really strange. Yeah, maybe it should go by daytime. <laughs> Probably. Do you have any idea why they did not uh, film the movie by the original house? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, that is a really good question. I just think, you know, if that's too much. I mean, to think that it actually happened in the film there would probably have freaked out the cast, I think. You know what I mean? I just think uh, that's yeah, Maybe it's also not respectful. Yeah, maybe. exactly. Let's go We're to the left. We're going to the left. We're almost here, folks. Oh, my God. This is creepy. We're doing it. We're going to the exorcist house. The real one. Not the Hollywood one we just went to with the steps and stuff. This is the house. Where it all started. Oh, yeah, like the real story of what was yes. in the newspaper. Is this the house? Which one? Here on the I right side? I, I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to park and find out here. Let's see. Oh, we're almost there. Yeah, that's what it's saying. So, uh, 3210, 3210 Bunker Hill Road. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Let's you ready do out it. there? Let's do this. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Bunker Hill Road. That's it. That's the road. Okay. We're approaching the house. That's eight, seven. And we need ten? Yeah. This is nine. Where is it? No, this isn't it. What was thought to be Bunker Hill Road is not. It's the it's 40th Avenue. Yeah, so we're still looking for the house, but something doesn't want us to find the house. <laughs> and we're having a hard time finding this thing. Yeah. I even passed by the sign that said Cottage City so many times. Because every uh, time I see Cottage City, I think Cottage Cheese. <laughs> cottage Cheese. <laughs> Yes. That's fun. Oh, do I have to go to the scary street? Mm -hmm. I think so. Not this one, though. But... Oh, okay. Maybe we should have done this in the daytime. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just see. Okay, we're almost approaching it. Yeah, this area look already... I don't know. Different. <laughs> <laughs> This looks creepy. I don't know if this is the right. Maybe no. I think it's right there. Cottage. Yeah, we got cottage. Cottage was on that street there. You mean your street of brick houses or something? No, it said cottage, and that's a good. That's a good sign. Okay. Police department. That's good. Got a police department. Oh, so thank in case you. the devil comes and gets us, we can go get the police. Cottage City Town Hall. We're we're here. This has got to be it. Stop and make this right. It should be okay. There's the town hall. It should be on the left side. Is that Same. true? Is that what it's saying? Creepy. <gasps> there it is. Oh my god. That's it. That's it. Whoa. 
We found it. Finally. Finally. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Well, let's see. Okay, we gotta be cool. This is somebody's home here. So we don't wanna, you know, the police station is right there. Probably because of that, you know. So that's it right there. That is the exorcist boy house. Nice home, by the way. Yeah. Uh, ready to get out and do this? Let's go. Let's go do it. We gotta be fast. We gotta be really quiet. My feet are shaking. Oh my God. That's it right there. We found the house where the original Exorcist boy was possessed by the devil that inspired the 1973 film The Exorcist. Took us a while, but we got here. Uh, it was like a wild goose chase. We thought it was Bunker Hill Road. It wasn't. Turns out it's on 40th Avenue. And we want to be really quiet because somebody still lives there. We want to respect that. Uh, anyway, that will end this episode. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in the house and see if it's still possessed. All right? If you don't see me, then you know what happened. Signing off, New Destinations. She's in here. Thank <laughs> you.